Hello, Lynn Crawford here. Today is February 23rd. Hope everyone's doing well. I appreciate the feedback, the information, all the comments coming in. So today I'm here at uh, Dentec Industrial in Denver, Pennsylvania. Um, if you're not familiar with Dentec Industrial, they are a uh, number of things, but uh, specifically to me, uh, systems integrator, control panel fabricator, UL5 weight services. You can see some stuff going on in the background. Um, a little about Dentec. They've been around for over 35 years, about 150 employees. And uh, other than uh, control systems integration, they are a manufacturer of industrial air filtration systems. They have about 5,000 successful projects underneath their belt. They're really big into fabrication, millwright, uh, industrial piping services. They have their own in-house machine shop. Um, just do a whole tremendous amount of industrial services. And obviously a whole team of electrical contracting type people that support all of their installations. So been doing it quite a long time. Um, let me show you a couple photos. Let's see right here. This is uh, the new facility down on Kurtz Road. So you can see the robot uh, holding up their sign. So they're getting really big into robotics right now. So they're a GE Fanuc authorized systems integrator. Um, obviously trying to target business like that and then support existing customers in the area. And then uh, here's a quick shot of uh, the new facility, the panel shop and their engineering offices and obviously where the robotics is, is as well. So the manufacturing, all the machine shops and all the assembly of the the, uh, the piping systems is done in their headquarters location just up the road a little bit. And uh, let's see, here's a quick shot of a recent control panel they did. Obviously it's like a 600 amp breaker and um, this customer wanted some very specific, uh, they wanted a really nice panel as you can see, but they also wanted the 480 volts clearly identified that way they could easily track each of the phases for the power distribution. Uh, the same project had a bunch of uh, basically safety rated, this is obviously the Allen Bradley point IO safety IO going down to a bunch of wide Mueller terminal blocks, red in color and using a chambray labeling system. So it's pretty neat system, very clean work as you can see. And then uh, real quick, it's more about Dentex. So um, this is about two years ago, pre COVID. Uh, I was here with my daughters. Uh, they did a car show. They had about 150 cars in the parking lot, had the fire department involved and they raised quite a bit of money for the American Heart Association. So they're a really great company to work with. Uh, great people. My daughter's had a great time. We went up in the fire truck. And then uh, last week, we had a bunch of Penn State electrical engineering students come out and worked with Dentech to actually do a senior design project. So you can see in the foreground, that's Jeremy Harding, the panel shop manager. He was doing a control panel layout. And uh, basically what we did is we programmed a Unitronics PLC HMI to some Wide Miller U remote and basically helped out the explanation of a UL 508 design. So thanks so much to Dentech for that. Um, let's take another look here. Let me go back to, here I am. So real quick, um, here's the Unitronics, uh, PLC HMI that they use. I have the same model actually as they had. So you can see, uh, and then we basically set up a bunch of uh, inputs and outputs. Now I don't have the U remote here anymore. The students took it with them, but ethernet port, right? So we obviously can use this for communication. Um, and then obviously remote IO services and things like that. Unitronics has a whole suite of basically VFDs, servo products, HMI, PLC, remote IO of their own. Um, and you can see there's obviously an SD card, USB micro, and then the standard USB for firmware updates. And then the other neat thing too is a ton of IO on board. Um, obviously you don't have to use the IO on board. They have an ethernet cable and go down to a back plane for remote IO services. But um, this was tied on to a bunch of, um, uh, as I said before, Wide Miller U remote. So I thought I'd show a couple of product highlights while I was here at Dentec Industrial. Um, this is kind of like the what what product we've all been quarantined, but so is like automation and sales calls. So check this out. So this is a newer product from Wide Mueller. They came up with um, basically the thickness of a terminal block uh, DC circuit breaker, right? So you can stack a number of these guys together. And this one happens to be configurable from one amp to six amps. There's a little rotary switch here on the top. And then this one right here is 10 amps. It's a little wider because of the, the, the current requirements but you can stack as many of these as you want together. On the far end, you can get a very basic module that'll do your power distribution, and it'll give you basically an output if there's a, a, an overcurrent or a tripped breaker per se. And then you also has a remote input so you can basically re remotely reset or turn off that circuit breaker. The other feature that they have is a powered in module like this. It's a little wider because it has some diagnostics built in. So this does your power distribution. It gives you the remote reset and the alarm, and you can also turn off breakers. But the neat thing that Wide Miller has come out with is this guy. So we all hear about IO Link. This is an IO Link bus coupler that snaps on the top. 
Um, so now we can basically get access to all of the breakers within the string on DC. So I've seen uh, Phoenix Contact has like a metal box that has, I think it's like four or six uh, DC outputs that are all circuit breaker and you can basically rotary switch to dial it in. The downside of that is obviously you have a lot of wiring coming up and it's one unit for four or six channels, I think. I can't quite remember, but nevertheless, you can see how the density of this is going to be much, much better because they just stack in a row and it's going to be a lot cleaner the way the wiring comes out. And it has the returns for the zero volts as well. And every circuit breaker can be specific to the current that you want, or you can change the rotary switch and dial it in. Neat thing too about this IO Link Master is Wide Miller launched a series of power supplies, um, newer ones, obviously push in terminals. Everybody's got to be little narrow housing, um, can't take up much room, very little heat. Um, here we go with this unit. You can pop off this cover and Voila, IO link right on the power supply so you can get diagnostics built right into that. So um, pretty new. I'm not sure if, how many people have seen it, but want to see a sample, want to try it out. IO link power supply with diagnostics and communications all available. And then I think the last thing I was going to show, um, I actually got this from the David McClellan, the new Widemuller guy in the area. He lives uh, just outside Harrisburg. Um, really cool. This is the new Widemuller offering of push-in terminal blocks. So I really think this is the future. I was a big uh, screw terminal block guy for a long period of time, but the newer products are just high end, high quality. And the things I like specific about them are, you can see the power distribution. So the red, obviously, um, for your plus, blue for the minus, and then you can have them here in a power distribution layout with both uh, knife disconnects or fuses built right in. And then along the lines of other features, they're like hybrids. So here is a sensor terminal block. So you have your zero volts, your power, and then this is the signal that passes through um, for pluggable motor connections. And they can be keyed so you don't accidentally plug in the wrong voltages. And then you can see there's new test points available. Um, what these plug into is actually an opening. You can stick your fluke meter right inside. And again, pretty much the, the common theme too with all the terminal blocks, right? Every manufacturer, if it's orange, it's movable. Um, so you can see actually the very similar to other manufacturers. If you want to get the wire out, you can then push down, wire pops right out. Anyway, uh, thanks so much for watching. Um, really like to, uh, oh, one other quick thing. So Dentec is coming up. They're going to be doing a motorcycle ride also to benefit, benefit the American Heart Association. So if you're interested, if you're a bike, if you'd like to ride bike, um, and uh, you want to meet some other engineers because there's going to be a tremendous amount of systems integrators and control panel type people, like-minded folk. Uh, let me know. I'd be happy to put in touch with Dan Rome here at Dentech, and uh, he's the organizer. But thanks so much for watching the videos. I hope this was informative. And again, as always, please uh, let me know if you have any thoughts, comments, questions, or good jokes. Have a great day. Take care.